Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and welcome back to more Final Fantasy 8 Blind. I have to burp. That was the worst burp ever. Uh, this is part 13. I should have really got water before I started recording. My mouth is just parched. And it's raining outside. Oh, I need to talk to the guys at the desk, huh? Yeah, Julia's room. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Laguna Loir, I've been expecting you. Julia's room, okay. Um, it's it, it rainy outside is actually an anomaly. I, I do live in Las Vegas. It actually hailed today too, which is crazy. But all that pouring water just makes me want some water pouring into my mouth. I guess we'll just have to focus on this this blossoming romance right now. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Have a seat. Oh man, where am I gonna sit? This is important. Oh, he went, he sat on the bed. Smooth moves there, Laguna. Oh, he, uh, <laughs> oh man. Yep. So even even you know, for those of you inexperienced with the ladies, even where you choose to sit says a lot. It's all body language. Seems like Laguna sort of gets that a little bit. She's laughing at us. We haven't even talked yet. Uh, it's not that. I'm a big fan of yours, so I'm really kind of nervous. That's why you come to hear me play so often. <laughs> You're the only ones in the bar tonight. You probably are also the only ones there always. You're always smiling while listening, huh? You have beautiful eyes, though they look a bit scared now. Don't worry, I'm not going to pluck them and eat them. I just wanted to talk, gazing into those eyes. Do you like a drink? Oh, some wine? Yes, please, baby. I must be dreaming. So, uh, I guess we're talking. Laguna is standing right now. <laughs> The worst call you could make, just awkwardly standing in front of this girl. I don't like fighting too much, but you get to travel, you know, seeing new places and stuff. And it's fun, because Kairos and Ward are always with me. We should all go out drinking sometime. What do you say? Oh, what was I talking about? I want to quit the army and become a journalist, so I can tell people all about the things I've seen on my travels. That's cool. He's loosened up, I guess, but shes uh, he's doing all the talking. He's doing what they told him not to. The other day, one of my articles made the readers call him. Pretty cool, huh? That was way cool. She's like, yes, it's cool. Like, no, I'm happy for you. And then... <laughs> I didn't know why made you sleepy. This guy is just a wreck. You look adorable when you're asleep, aww. How would I fall asleep? I was standing up a second ago. Yes? Uh, <laughs> tell me about yourself, like your dreams for the future. I want to sing, not just play the piano, but sing, too. I'd love to hear that. No good at writing lyrics. Maybe Laguna can write some lyrics for you. He's a writer. Must be tough. Thanks to you, I think I can come up with something. I'm going to write a song called Awkward Guy in My Bedroom. Thanks to me? Yes. The many faces you've shown me. Times when you were hurt, worried, or felt pain deep inside you. Your smile, your face, your eyes. You've shown me something. I think I can come up with a song. I must be dreaming. <laughs> it's not a dream, is it? It is for one of our characters, I think. Laguna, new orders. Meet by the presidential residence on the double. Oh, man. Can we meet again? Of course. I have to come hear you sing. Oh.
Man, I wanted to finish listening to that music. Oh, here we go. We still got it. Now here we're we're up again. Okay. <laughs> Squall is still on the ground. Were we we were we all asleep? We we did all fall asleep. Why did that happen? Yeah. A lot of people who were uh, we're just cool with it though. Better be careful. Am I missing anything? Anyone hurt? Yeah, well, check our stuff. We still got our gun blade. Everything's fine. Everything cool. I don't think so. What a relief. Just a casual, just one of those good old sleeping gas pranks. Just someone, someone's like, oh, those seed kids, let's haze them. That's what it was. It was a hazing. I had such a nice dream. Let's hear what Selfie dreamed about. I had a dream too. It wasn't nice though. It was pretty nice. It, come on, Squall. I dreamt I was a moron. <laughs> was that supposed to be him having a dream that he was Laguna? Is that what we were seeing? Be arriving in Timber shortly. For those getting off, please be sure you have all your belongings. Okay. Sir. Oh man, they did! They all had the same dream! Sir Laguna was so cool. There was a Laguna in my dream too! A Galbadian soldier, yeah. Laguna, Kairos, or Kiros, or Ward? Huh? Whoa. That's it. That's what? No, yeah, <laughs> we're really just not gonna try to figure it out. We all shared a dream. Just concentrate on our mission. I guess we have to, yeah. Put this incident on hold. I'll report it to the headmaster once we get back to garden. Oh, uh, yeah. Here we go, psych yourself up, baby. It's time. My shorts are ready. Still sleepy. Hmm. Very peculiar. I was thinking that it must have had something to do with Squall's history, but why did all three of us see it? I guess the train's bringing us in. This sure doesn't look like timber. Looks like all the forest is gone. Whoa, we gotta, gotta turn this music down a little bit. This is like, loud. <laughs> Pet shop, can I buy a dog? All right, so this is timber, huh? It's very green looking. Is the sign that way to Balam? I guess that must just mean for the train tunnel. All right, so we gotta find a guy and whisper some code to him or something, right? For, yeah, this is the forest of timber sure has changed, but the owls are still around Welcome to timber sir. Come with me All right How's timber been treating you? Well, I just got here Oh naughty magazine Oh man well, but zone is a regular here. I sell them to him sometimes Who's zone he was looking for a book called girl next door you Should tell him if you find one, okay? I can't buy any more of this stuff. We're out of stock. Yeah, old man living on the edge of town. These look like more um, magazines or something. Wanna see the map of Timber? Sure. This is the map? Oh my god, this is just impossible to make heads or tails of. What? Okay, we'll have to figure it out myself. What's the other one? Model trains. Watson Zone bought the last one. The owner of the hotel used to make some great models. He used to make a lot of them. He disappeared after the war and no one makes them anymore now that he's gone, okay. What's this? On vacation? My Georgie's in there. I hate this pet shop. Oh my god, what do they take? Some kid's dog? Okay. Please, this way, sirs. That's the way to, this is the train to Galbadia? Oh man, are we going there? I guess we are, huh? That was all of Timber, just that quick little stop? What was even the point of, of the map? 
Unless this will just take us to some other place in Timber. Maybe it's a bigger town. Alright, here's this is zone, I guess. So you guys are seeds. I'm the squad leader, Squall. This is Zell and Selfie. I'm the leader of the forest owls, okay? <laughs> nice, um... Sweet, uh, sweet windbreaker there, man. You look straight off the track team. Let's get on with it. What do we do? Let me introduce you. Looks like you already met Watts. Okay, so that's Watts. These are the guys who bought all of the, um, magazines. Zell is already shadow boxing. Guess it's just our princess then. It's the princess's nap time? Oh, man. Who? Sorry, could you go get the princess? She's in the last room up those stairs. Some of our other guys are in the room on the way. Ask them if you get lost. Okay. Were we hired to run errands? No. <laughs> this is the last time for this kind of thing. Everybody gets one. Ouch. All right. These guys don't seem to have it together. Yeah, they're a little unorganized, it seems like. They can't treat us that way. We're special. We're, they should be called the, the Snowflake Program, not the Seed Program. Last room at the end of the hall, huh? Let's um, let's check out what else is going on in here, though. If you're gonna wake up the princess, you've got guts, man. It's so relaxing. Princess is in the room further down. Okay. Yeah, it seems like trains are a big, uh, a big part of this system. Oh man, are you are you a party member? You look m much better designed than the rest of us. Oh man, oh this is the girl. Whoa, you're a seed. She's their princess. I'm Squall, the squad leader. There's two others with me. Whoa, Seed is here. Take it easy. I'm so happy. Oh yeah, I guess it is her, huh? Been sending requests to Garden forever, but nothing. I'm so glad I spoke to Sid directly. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. So she talked to Sid. That's probably why they took this job for such low money. She went to him. She went straight to the top. You know Cypher? Yeah. He's the one who introduced me, okay. Sid is such a nice man. I really didn't think Seed would come out to help a measly little group like us. But after explaining our situation, he gave the go-ahead, okay. Now we get it, now it makes more sense. Now that you guys are here, we'll be able to carry out all kinds of plans. Well, what is this little organization? Is this this girl's theme? What is this girl's name again? Going back to the others, okay. We gotta get it soon, right? Is he here? Probably talking about Cypher, right? No, we don't We don't really see eye to eye. He also isn't a seed. We got uh, the full brunt of the punishment for our little goof up a little bit ago. My name's... Renoa, yeah, that's right. I'm aware of you, Renoa. I think you may be our love interest. <laughs> Don't know very much about you, though. Very pleased to meet you, Squall. Seed members dance quite well, don't they? Well, I learned to dance in one dance the other night. Approach your target inconspicuously at a dance party. There may be missions requiring this sort of subterfuge. It's expected of Seed to learn various skills. I see. That's too bad. Oh my god, it's a dog! Hello, dog! Let me introduce you. This is my partner. Oh my god! Do we get to rename the dog? Oh, watch Angelo, huh? Should we rename Angelo? No, no, we gotta keep it. <laughs> keep the characters, if you could call this dog a character. We're gonna keep those canon. We're gonna change, change the hell out of the Guardian Force names, but the dog, no, 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 the dog is sacred. Angelo is really smart. Here, let me tell you. 
Whoa, Renault's Limit Break uses Angelo? Oh my god. The tricks Angelo can learn are listed on the status screen. Angelo Rush, Angelo Recover, Angelo Cannon? What? The fourth status screen lists all the tricks he can learn. Oh my god, what is that happening? The gauge on the right indicates how much he how much has been learned. When the gauge is full, the trick has been learned, okay? If the gauge is not full, the trick has yet to be learned. Alright. To learn a new trick. Move the cursor and press X. Now as Renault walks around, the gauge will fill up and Angelo will learn the trick. Okay. There will be a message before you close the screen. Alright. I guess that makes sense. What? You can learn a new trick by reading a magazine called Pet Pals. Didn't we read that? Don't we have that? The reading Pet Pals access the screen to change the settings. So that has something to do with the... Um, magazines, right? Maybe those, maybe the books and the items on, like, that are lying around in the overworld and stuff are how we get different limits. That's all for Renoa's. Okay. Smart, huh? Have some important work to do now. Be good, Angelo. I'll meet you there. Alright, man, I didn't know we were gonna get a dog in our party. Oh, can we let let him out or something? Can we let him into the other room? Listen to this music too. This is very nice, pleasant sounding. A lot of the areas in this game almost have a kind of like a subdued atmosphere feel to them. They feel very pleasant, just kind of calm sounding. Of course, this is the silliest theme I've ever heard. <laughs> this is Zell. And Selfie. Hi, everyone. This way. Okay. So what are we here for? What is our mission at hand? I guess we're gonna find out. Man, I just got so sleepy all of a sudden. I don't know why. Just stand anywhere you want. All right, this is a full-scale operation. The forest owls will be known in the pages of Timber's Independence. Exciting, huh? So these guys are from Timber. It all started when we got a hold of top-secret info from Galbadia. And Watts is like, I did it! It was me! There's a VIP from Galbadia coming to Timber. Name is Vinzer Delling, our arch enemy and the president of Galbadia. Oh man, Vinzer Delling is such a scoundrel. He's a dictator, not a president, not even popular in Galbadia, sir. President Delling is taking a private train from the Galbadian capital. Our plan is to blow it to smithereens with a rocket launcher. <laughs> oh, gee, they're like Jesus, girl. Who are you guys? Uh, not quite. So, get to the point. Just tell us what you want to do. Okay. What are we doing? Alright, here we go. First, I'll go over the model. The yellow train on top right is our base. That's where we are right now. Right next to it's the dummy car. We made it to look just like the president's car. Okay. Our train is three cars. First, there's the locomotive, followed by the first escort. The locomotive's in the front. The first escort's in the middle there, it looks like. The red car is the president's car. Delling should be inside. The last car is the second escort. Once we get on this one, we begin the operation. Okay. Our goal is to seize the president in his car using our base. We'll have to switch our dummy car with their president's car. Isn't our dummy car blue? Won't they know? Maybe it's not actually blue. That's just to help us uh, visualize it better. We'll use the two switch points leading up to Timber to carry out this operation. Okay, I'm going to explain the procedure in seven steps. All right. Sneak on board the second escort by jumping from the dummy car. So I guess we're going to come up behind them. Or maybe we're jumping across the tracks. I don't know. 
Proceed cautiously across the roof? What is- This is very Final Fantasy VII. Wasn't there a mission like that? Like this in that game too? The second escort car is the only one that is equipped with sensors, sir. Okay, so we gotta go cautiously. A high-tech officer is on board. Talk about the sensors later. You can move across the roof of the president's car without worrying too much. Okay. Stelling hates the company of his guards and being surrounded by sensors and keeps them away from his car. Okay. His fatal flaw. Uncouple the first car. We'll have to complete the uncoupling before the first switch point. If we don't, game over. I guess that makes sense. We'll have to move fast. I'll explain the uncoupling process later, okay? The dummy and the base will move in and swap in like that, I guess. After the car is uncoupled, we'll have the dummy car and our base move in. At this point, our train and their train will be linked and moving together. Don't you think they would know that, though? Isn't, when we uncouple it, isn't there gonna be like a big bump or something? People are, you can't just do it that easily. All right, this is the last uncoupling. The process will probably be similar to the first one. Escape with the president's car and our base. And I guess that car is just gonna slide right back into place, huh? We should be able to escape with the president's car. If it all goes well, we'll return to our base and prepare to confront Delling. Okay. We have five minutes to complete the seven procedures. So we get onto the back, go across it, go across the president's car, uncouple, his car from the first escort um, move in with our train and uncouple the second oh, hold on yeah because we got to unhitch the back from our car our, our train right and then we escape okay if we fail our train will collide with theirs at the switch point and it'll be all over don't forget that it seems like a, a, a short amount of time, but according to the simulation we ran, it should only take three minutes. Piece of cake for you seeds, huh? I guess so. Now let's talk about how to avoid the sensors on the second escort. Go ahead, Watts. Okay, a sound sensor and a temperature sensor. Any sound will trigger it. The blue guard is carrying this. The temperature will go off if you remain stationary, okay. The guards in red will, is carrying this one. When the guard opens the blind, that means he's checking the sensor. So I guess maybe like, stop moving for blue guys and move for red guys. The range on these is equal to the length of one window, so keep an eye on the windows below. Okay. Yeah, okay, this makes sense. It's kind of red light, green lighty. Stop if there's a blue guard and run if there's a red. Stop for blue, run for red. That's about it for the sensors. Okay. How can you uncouple the cars from a moving train? We have to tamper with the control system that manages the coupling. If we temporarily disable the circuit, the car will uncouple automatically. We have to enter several codes, okay. And Renoa has the codes. All right. Squall, you'll slide down the sides of the train using a cable and turn the codes into the system. Oh my god, this is like the rocket mission, too. This is like the train mission and the rocket mission from Final Fantasy VII fused together into some unholy esoteric being. The, my only hope is that the translation for this game is doing a better job of conveying this than it than Sevens does, and it won't be as bad. Each code is made up of numbers between one and four. Two, three, four, one. Four, three, two, one goes counterclockwise on the D-pad, starting at triangle. Or on the, the button pad. The keypad won't have numbers, instead it'll have four buttons, okay. Three, or if I look, three, four, one. Three, one, two, four. It's three, one, two, four, okay. Oh my god. All right, otherwise the code will change and the past entries will become invalid. You have to enter all the codes to disable the connections. After we uncouple the cars, we'll wait for the others to operate the rail switch. Man. All right, okay. Let's find out, enter three codes and you'll be finished. So two, three, one, one. 
All right, okay. Three, one, three, one. I'm trying to do this without looking at my little thing over there. Three, two, two, three. Cool. All right, yeah, I think I get it. Yes. The model's nice, but the president's car looks kind of shabby. Why is that? Renoa made it. That's why we brought, we bought everything at the gift shop, huh? Thought some kid made it. The paint job sucks too. Yeah, it kind of does, Renoa. Maybe you're not that crafty. I made it look like that on purpose. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yeah, right. It's one of the ugliest. There, jeez, these guys are just dunking on Renoa's car. It's one of the ugliest things I've ever seen. You must really hate him. <laughs> Enough about the model. Let's get on with this. I don't know. They, they train seeds to have such a mean sense of humor, too. Yes, I understand. Let's decide on the party. Oh, yeah. We can only have three of our guys, huh? Gathering information is my specialty, sir. Oh, <laughs> what? Is he getting train sick, too? Yeah, I'll go take a look. All right, do we get Renoa? Is she gonna come with us? Or is it just us three? Yes, yeah, she's in the party. Select party members, can I? I can't switch members right now, it looks like. Okay, is this Delling? Yeah, let's read this. Anarchist Monthly, <laughs> that's a magazine? Yeah, that, that must be his face there. How does he stay in power? We reveal his darkest secrets. All right. Don't read it. Well, I guess we read that. Okay, well, that's going to be it for our episode today, I think. Man. All right, so we met Renoa. We got her name officially. Um, kind of found out what her deal was. And then now I guess we're going to pull off some train heist. Well, that'll be exciting. And I'm sure it will take us longer than five minutes to do. Uh, we will do it, hopefully, in the next episode. Until then, guys, I've been Snag Tech 8. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you next time. Later.